<laughs> Wait, what? Yo, what? In his mind, what, what happened and what Charlie is explaining are like two entirely different things that happened. All right, let's watch Matt Walsh. Now, there's a reason the media has to lie about the stories of Sarah, Sarah Comrie and Amy Cooper, not to mention the most egregious recent example, which was Daniel Penny. And the reason is simple. It's because they can't find videos and news stories of white people going out and hunting black people. It just doesn't happen. Yeah, because police do it. Like, what do you mean? White people don't do it individually, usually. They just, they, they have outsourced it to, like, a legal authority that basically operates above the law to do that. What the fuck? And also, even then, even then, there are still plenty of examples, like Ahmaud Arbery, you know, the Buffalo shooter. Like, what the fuck? It happens so frequently, actually. What are you saying? What? Who was it? The lynch people after church on Sunday. Uh, it was uh, the the Dylan Roof. Oh, the baby doll is back. Oh, this freak brought the baby doll back. I don't know why he he kept it hiding for a while. They lie and pretend it happens all the time, and a lot of white leftists believe it, even when their lives come crashing down because of it. But it's not true. And the people spreading this narrative, they know that it isn't true. Just this weekend, the NAACP Board of Directors issued a travel advisory for Florida. And they were warning that the state, under the leadership of that infamous white supremacist Ron DeSantis, is not safe for black people. Not safe for black people because of white people, just to be clear. But, but guess where the... Why did he clarify that? Because he's saying it, Florida is actually not safe, but only because black people live there. Okay. That's what he said. That's what he said. Oh, you sneaky fuck. Your hairline looks like shit, dog. It is getting worse and worse every fucking day. You fucking monster, you. I hope. I mean, there is 0% chance your life is good. I mean, there is no way. A person with this much hatred in their fucking hearts for like random marginalized groups that are super powerless, there is no fucking way that he's a happy, he's a happy camper. <clears throat> no fucking shot dude board's chairman lives florida of course so these people don't believe their own nonsense but they expect you to believe it or at least pretend that you do on the other hand black people committing crimes against white people for sport is common in fact it's so common now that it's one of the fastest growing genres on social media here's just one example from the UK, watch as a black TikToker perpetrates a kind of casual home invasion. <laughs> Wait, what? Yo, what? He said black people hunting white people is a sport and then posted that fucking random TikTok from the UK of that dude, of that dude that's like going into a fucking random house, by the way. Not that it, like that dude being black, or the house, uh, if, if the people living there being white is just completely irrelevant. It's just a TikTok genre, apparently. Knockout game discourse part two. What the fuck? Into a also, what's up with like, uh, is he saying that like black people operate as a, as a monolith universally? Like, is this the argument that like they're, the, the TikTok thing is just about black people uh, hunting white people? by uh, making the stupidest fucking TikTok of all time. Charlie Kirk said that black prowling blacks go around for fun and go target white people. What the fuck? Yo, these people are so unhinged, dude. Despite that, though, a certain video went very viral, and we got a couple questions on this. I want to read this one from Rebecca from Idaho. Charlie, I watch the show every day. I love what you do and how fearless you are. Isn't it racist to call white women Karens? Are they just hurling it as a slur? Dude, I love this. I hope they run with this. I really want them to make this their main argument. Like that, like endlessly crying about Karen being like a, a, like a racial slur. Endlessly crying about Karen being a fucking racial slur is I think a very viable, very successful, uh, 
Very, very successful uh, strategy. Fleur, did you see what happened in New York City? What's your take on the so-called Karen story from New York City? As a white woman, I'm beginning to get pissed off when I hear it. Would love your thoughts, Rebecca. Okay, so this is somewhat of a complicated story, but it really isn't, okay? So there is a pregnant white woman who worked at a hospital who is going to go, basically in New York City, you're able to rent bikes, Okay, so you're able to rent bikes, and this was the last bike of its, of its kind. Last bike there. So she goes to go rent the bike, and halfway through whatever altercation was brewing, there seemed to be a back and forth between a black man and her. It might have been a group of black people, actually. He's so used to saying a black that like he had to pause in between and remember a black man. And this video was seen over 40 million times. And the immediate reaction by the Twitterati and the immediate reaction by the social media jihadis is, oh my goodness, look at this white Karen who is ra in a racist way trying to say, this bike is mine, stay out of the way, black people and basically bully her, weaponizing her white tears against black men, seen 40 million times. Well, like so many of these race hoaxes, it turns out that this was a lie. And by the way, Twitter was calling out her name. In fact, one of the Twitterati said, she effing deserves, I hope you never have a moment of peace again. Again, this is a four-month pregnant woman. Well, it turns out she actually paid for the bike. And something that is common in New York City is that young thugs will come up and actually, as you rent the bike, push the bike back in. Kind of as a way to troll you, as a way to be like, oh, you paid for it? Well, you lose all your money type thing. Thugs? Bro. It's like... Oftentimes, there's a lot of conflict that you experience, that you see, okay? There's a lot of conflict that you see in your day-to-day -day life, okay? And sometimes that ends up on camera. I have never seen more agreeable people, like, in any fucking found footage moment, in any, like, phone footage moment, than... Those fucking teenagers with the lady who was screaming. I, by the way, made mostly jokes about the situation because it's like unserious. Uh, and, uh, and yet uh, people, of course, never watch the videos. Instead, they screenshot it and then complain about it. With the, with, because they think I, uh, you know, because they think I, they expect me to go a certain way in this argument. I saw like a, some guy on Twitter complaining about like how uh, I I had uh, you know defended uh, the the teenagers or something and didn't take like a mostly uh, you know even keeled perspective. Weird why Charlie won't show the video. By the way, yeah, I wonder why. I wonder why Charlie won't show the video. Perhaps if he showed the video, his argument would fucking fall apart. Because, like, the dudes that he is, like, lumping in as, as thugs are the most agreeable kids I've ever seen, okay? Teenagers are not agreeable. Sometimes pregnant ladies coming after a long, super long fucking, uh, uh, you know, shift at the hospital might not also be agreeable either. They still have more systematic power in every altercation, Okay. Yeah, other than the R-worded baby comment, which was fucking hilarious, okay? That was fire. Other than that, they literally were like, lady, what are you doing? Like, here, take my bike. There's a second bike here. Why don't you just take the second bike? Why are you making a bigger deal out of this? She, like, took the dude's phone. She fucking screamed. Like, it, it made no sense. Looking at those guys and being like, wow, they were being really unhinged is just fucking crazy. 
So this white woman gets completely misrepresented. This is a pregnant woman equivalent of Nicholas Sandman. She got suspended from her job because of this. This is Nicholas Sandman 2.0. Now, were they trying? Let's watch the video again. Now that, now that you heard Charlie's analysis on the situation, let's watch the video real quick to see if he was right about to see if he was right about the, the assessment, like the, the way that he, he ran the video, okay? Because in his mind, what, what happened and what Charlie is explaining are like two entirely different things that happened, okay? I need to fucking find the OG video. Does anyone have the, the, just the full video, the full interaction? Hmm. Please help me. 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 Help. Please get off me. This is not your bike. I paid for the bike. That's what they're saying. Why you took his phone? She takes his phone away. Bro, you. You're not Don't touch touching his phone. You're not touching his phone. I'm not touching you. Child. Says you're hurting my fetus. You're hurting my my unborn child. Wait, what is? What's wrong with you? You're not touching his phone. You're not touching his phone. I'm not touching you. You put in your stomach on my head. No, dude, stop. No, no, dude, stop. No, 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 no. I said no. I said sit down. Guys, guys, guys. Please help. She's just crying. You're not crying. You're not crying. I got stupid. I got your video. Wait, you 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 put it out. Hassan, you put it out. Hassan. That's fine. You pulled it out. Uh, this is my bike. It's on my account. Yeah, Please move. All right. So why don't we set reset? He said, "This is my bike. It's on my account. Please move." The bike. I'm not resetting the bike. It's, it's his. It's his. It's, it's his. his. I'm gonna reset it. I'm gonna pull it out on your account. You're an actor. Walk. Who the fuck? That's just my bike. Crying. Just fake crying. Stop fake crying. Hey, stop touching me. I'm gonna touch you. Hold up. Hold up. Hey, stop touching me. Stop touching me. Why don't you take this bike? Stop touching me. I will. I can't. Exactly. He goes, there's another bike right there. So she literally, like, she gets hit in the face with, like, common sense in that very moment, I think, where she's like, wait, what the fuck am I doing? Like, the teenagers, and I cannot believe I'm saying this because teenagers are fucking scary, okay? They can be real assholes, all right? Especially in a group. Oh, my Lord, dude. They're going to rip you to shreds, which, by the way, they kind of did. When he said that baby's going to come out R-worded, that was kind of funny. That was like a very, you know, that was a teenager moment, okay? Teenage boys, especially terrifying. They will say some things that will haunt you for the rest of your life, okay? Like, they'll tell you at the top of the hour there's a three-minute ad break. If you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe, which you can do for $5 or for free with Twitch Prime. By connecting your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account where you get one free Prime subscription a month, and you're like, what the fuck just happened? What kind of goddamn take is that? Out of nowhere, I'm debated at the top of the hour ad break. It fucked me up. It blew my mind. Okay. Holy fuck. Probably, uh, honestly, she probably has raised them so ingrained she truly was scared because she thinks all black people are thugs. I mean, maybe. Potentially. Also, Alex is here. New York teenagers are going to cut ass on you so much. Exactly. And these guys didn't do any of that. They literally are like, bro, there's another fucking bike right there. Chill. All right, you're going to man the ship for a little bit while I go and uh, take her out to pee and stuff. Okay. Now that you're here. You, you brought me something. Okay, uh-oh. I brought you a treat. Uh-oh. You brought me a treat? Oh, yeah. no. Here. We're we're relitigating the Hello. bike, Karen. You you're still unfamiliar with the bike, Karen, right? Hello. Yeah, that's right. I'm unfamiliar. Okay, don't worry. Um. Hello, chat. Opa, opa. Hello. Is Mike okay? Can they hear me? Yeah, Can you guys yeah, hear me? You're, you're, it's the same thing as yesterday. Okay. What are you doing? <gasps> oh, oh my god. So I, gotta, I gotta give her a shower. Oh, the fucking the bully. Nope, no biting. She's so good. No biting. 
No fighting. This is my dream come true. Uh, okay, what is what is it? Okay, wait. Here we go. Uh, this is oh, special I forgot to run the ad break. Hold on. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, anyway, here's the three-minute ad break now. You can get gifted to the sub if you're lucky. Okay, go on. Okay. Uh, so, <coughs> I know we were talking about, like, snacks that we liked yesterday. So, and you were saying that you agreed with me. So, like, I brought you some... Uh, mint. Oh, no. Mint Oreos. Yo, get out of my house, dog. <laughs> get out of my house, bro. That's nasty. Uh, but I also brought, like, other... I got the Thin the, Mint The ones. Thin Mint ones? Yeah. <laughs> Even worse. Gross. What am I fucking... I hey. I also got gluten-free if you want gluten-free ones. That is so nasty. <laughs> you should be getting bullied more by your friends <laughs> and, and for wait, wait, on, your wait, choices wait. In, in Oreos. And then there's... I also brought the, the ice cream as well. So just so Yo, you know. Yo, too fucking far, dude. Dude, you are a criminal. You're, Thank you. I, like, you, you. That is a crime. Okay, <laughs> I got to take her out. You fucking don't talk to them about the, your, your obsession with uh, Oreos. That's disgusting. They like um, and, uh I'm going to eat one of them right now. Okay, you do that uh, <laughs> while I take her out real quick to, to pee and stuff. You, well, are we tell watching? them what we're doing today. Okay, cool.